as we continue to build towards the 2012 World Championships, we are down here in Rundle Mall for our official launch and one of the uh, sporting stars of Adelaide who has come down and joined us has been Tommy Jonas from Port Adelaide, the power, one of the power young guns and uh, Tommy had a couple of roles out here this afternoon, how's the form? Yeah, it's only the second time I've bowled before, so uh, I was a bit, bit rusty early on, but I'm sort of getting the hang of it. Some uh, good teaching going on as well. You've got your teammate Ben Newton down here as well, who, uh, who has yet to play a game. Has that got a little bit of lip service between the two of you when it comes to uh, some competitive bowls? Yeah, I think he's a pretty competitive bloke, and i got the wood on him at the moment, so hopefully it stays that way. We had uh, Russell Ebert down here early, who is a good bowler. He plays a bit of uh, night hours here in Adelaide. Um, so you're the third person to walk down here with a power top on the day. Um, anyone else throughout the club uh, that you know of have a bowl? Uh, no one that I know of, probably a few of the old blokes that work in property and uh, help out with the training probably have a bit of a bowl every now and then, but not many of the young blokes. Beautiful. Well, we encourage everyone who's a Port Adelaide supporter, in fact anyone who uh, is in Adelaide during the next 16 days from the 24th of November through to December 9 to pop on down to the World Championships. We'll have a chat to Tom about some of the footy stuff now, and mate, uh, a new coach, Kenny Hinckley, has uh, joined the club. Uh, what, have you, what have you heard from Kenny in the early days? Uh, look, it's going to be pretty exciting times. It's obviously uh, a lot of work to do to improve from last year, so I think there's going to be a few things we focus on. Uh, a lot of defence, uh, working hard, not cutting any corners, and it looks like a big pre-season ahead. And a pretty young side too. Yeah, lots of young, uh, young blokes, lots of potential. A few blokes in from trades and probably a few more through the draft, so it's pretty exciting. Mate, you played nine games uh, this year, 13 in total. Uh, are there some expectations that you've got on yourself and Kenny's got on you to play some more this year? Yeah, look, I've probably got expectations, but at this stage it's sort of working with the team and trying to um, grow our culture and play better football and get wins on the board. Obviously, I'd like to be a part of that, and so hopefully we uh, train hard and I might get a few games next year as well. Good, mate. All, all the best for season 2013, and thanks for coming out today to help us launch the uh, World Championships. No worries. A pleasure. There he is, Tommy Jonas, the head of the 2012 World Championships. Also down here this afternoon were the five AA sports team, Stephen Rowe and Graham Corns, and we caught up with Cornsy after he finished on air. Corns, you've spent three hours down here trying to promote the World Championships for us and uh, you had a roll yourself, how did you enjoy it? Uh, look, I, it's a really captivating game, there's no doubt about that. Once you work out you know, which way the ball or the ball goes, so it's the sort of thing that can become quite addictive, I would think. You spent some time standing next to our uh, Aussie Jackaroo, Wayne Rudiger, earlier. Did you learn anything from him? He was sensational. Actually, I had a couple of ends with him. He, he and I partnered in rowing against uh, one of the Jersey boys. Um, he just had a, a style and a confidence that comes with champions, there's no doubt about it. So, but he's, he's from a long line of bowlers, there's no doubt, of course his dad, Ron, uh, sorry his grandfather Ronnie was a, was a, well, he's a legend here in Adelaide, but um, what's, what is amazing is how young the elite bowlers are at the moment, he's not that old at all, but he had a, a definite style about him, no doubt about that. You played footy at the, at the elite level. Was there anyone when you were playing footy that, that played it as a sport when they were playing footy at the same time? No, to be, well, to be quite honest, it was the sort of thing you played. When you, when you finished footy, you played golf. When you finished golf, you played bowls. So it's not the case these days, but I can't really recall any of my teammates who, who got into that much. Sorry. There is a growing trend of, I mean, we have a uh, ammo footballer in, in Melbourne who, uh, who plays uh, pennant bowls and uh, plays... Premier amateur football as well, so there was a growing trend in that area. What uh, what have you heard in Adelaide about the World Champs? Obviously, you're uh, you're in the media. Is there is a swell of support for it? There's no doubt. There's a lot of action, and you, you just sense around the place that there's uh, a lot more involvement. I, I was at Glenelg uh, during the week, and this really smartly turned out group of people came jogging past and with discipline and order and they looked like a soccer team to me, except there were some girls amongst them, and at the back there was a couple of young, a couple of older guys. And, as they ran past, I said, what sport is that? I said, oh, lawn bowls. So they were a really professional, young, fit-looking group of people. So there's a certain buzz around it. We hope to see you down there. Definitely be down there. Hope it goes well. Well, that's just about all from our launch here in Rundle Mall in the heart of Adelaide this afternoon. As you just heard from Graham Corns, they've been here all afternoon broadcasting their sports show. We chatted to Wayne Rudiger. We had the stars of Jersey Boys. We had players from Adelaide United. Port Power were here and it was a host of activity ahead of the 2012 World Championships. As I said earlier, they start on November 24th and run right through for 16 days until December the 9th. Make sure you get your tickets, as Cornsey just said he was going to try and do, from worldbowls2012.com.